The fluid timesheet for elapsed time reporters is redesigned in Image 25 to provide a more modern and intuitive user experience that is fluid and easily adaptable to a tablet, laptop, or desktop. This new streamlined look and feel enables you to enter time as minutes, not as a percent of an hour, handle mid-period changes, and add comments before saving or submitting time, while maintaining the configurability that you had in the classic version. On the Enter Time page, an employee can report their time and also view the default time period for the work group or the default time period based on the user preferences. The summary of the scheduled and reported hours for the period is located under the selected period. If there are multiple weeks within the period, the time reporter will be able to view a week at a time and scroll between the weeks. There is a summary of scheduled and reported hours for each week. The scheduled hours for each day are displayed under the date, along with the total hours reported for that day. The colored bar represents the status of reported time to scheduled time. If schedules are not used by your organization, the scheduled hours and status bar can be hidden through configuration. The legend displays the icons used for each day, for example, icons used for statuses. Time reporters can also see the colors and patterns that are used in the status bar. Administrators can set the default colors or patterns used in the status bar, and users can be allowed to change the colors and patterns. The time details that can be entered will depend on the configuration of the time reporting template used by the time reporter. The time summary page displays a summarized view of the time that was entered. The time summary page also displays the default time period for the work group or the default time period from the user's preferences. This view can be changed by the time reporter. The total scheduled and reported hours will reflect the time period selected. When you first come into the page, the current date will be highlighted. The calendar square will show a summary of the time reporting codes reported for the day and the summary of hours reported for each time reporting code. The bottom area will show more information for the selected day. The additional information will include any time details that were entered such as project, activity, or combination codes. If a change needs to be made to the reported time, the Edit Time button will take the time reporter back to the Enter Time page where they can change the reported time. The data in the time summary can be filtered to show the data a time reporter is interested in. For instance, the data can be filtered to show all of the time that has been entered against Project X. Notice that there is a summary of the hours that have been reported against that project. This completes our demonstration of the Time and Labor Fluid Timesheet Elapsed Time feature. Fluid Payable Time Approvals, located with other Fluid Approvals, enables managers to track all of their pending approvals in one place. The approvals are summarized by Time Reporter and Time Period Covered. Managers select a row to view the dates, time reporting codes, and quantity to approve. Use mass approval to select or deselect all of the rows. Once the rows are selected, managers select the action to take. The actions are configurable through the Approval Workflow Engine framework. Managers can drill down for more information, adjusting the actual reported time, or adding comments to the timesheet, which the time reporter can view. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Payable Time Approval feature. In Image 25, PeopleSoft HCM has enhanced the data privacy delete process, providing the ability to completely delete employee or applicant information from the system when there are legitimate reasons for a person to be forgotten and when your organization determines the data no longer serves its purpose. This enhancement includes two separate deletion processes, one for deleting person data and another for deleting applicant data. The Person ID Delete functionality now provides greater flexibility, giving organizations management over the delete process. On the Person ID Delete Control page, administrators with the new ID Delete Administrator role can now define control records and fields where, when data is present for a person, the system prevents that person from being deleted. Administrators with this role can now exclude specific records from the delete process as well. 
This enables your organization to retain data in specific tables, including audit and archive tables, while removing the rest. From the Person ID Delete page, users with the new ID Delete User role can override the previously mentioned administrator check settings for control records and fields, exclude records, or both during the Person ID Delete process. In addition to the enhancements for the Person ID Delete process, similar pages are delivered in Image 25 to support a new Applicant ID Delete process. On the Applicant ID Delete Control page, Administrators with the new Administrator role can exclude specific records from the Applicant Deletion process. This page offers a subset of the functionality on the Person ID Delete Control page. On the new Applicant ID Delete process, you choose applicants to delete. When you run the deletion process, the system permanently removes all of the applicant's data from both Talent Acquisition Manager and Candidate Gateway. In tables such as the Manage Hires table, where the applicant ID is a foreign key, the deletion process changes the original applicant ID to zero, so the row is no longer associated with an applicant. The ID Delete User role gives users who run the process the ability to override the exclusion settings for the applicant ID delete process. This completes our discussion of the Data Privacy Enhancements feature, the Person ID Delete Enhancements, and the new Applicant ID Delete functionality. PeopleSoft Manage Profiles continues to enhance the fluid user interface experience. Now, when a content item is set up to use related items, items that have a parent-child relationship, the Talent Profile pages will display an additional column and link that accesses the related items pages to add and manage these relationships. Note that the name of the link and related item pages vary based on the child relationship of the content type. In this example, the profile is set up to use the Subcompetencies subsection under the Competencies content type. In addition to supporting related items, Fluid Approvals now supports the Person Profile and Non-Person Profile transactions. Managers will access the Fluid Approvals pages to review and take action on person or non-person profile fluid requests. This completes our discussion of the Manage Profiles enhancements. After each financial year, organizations need to share year-end statements with their employees. Instead of sending printed reports by mail, organizations can now use the self-service reporting framework to make statements available online. With this new feature, employees can view reports using their mobile devices and receive notification when reports are available to view, download, or print. Let's see how an employee will view his payroll reports quickly using his mobile phone. Tap the Payroll Reports tile. On the Payroll Reports page, Tap the left pane to view the reports groups and the list of reports available to the employee. By default, the first report will be displayed. Now, select the year and tap View Report to open the report in PDF format. The report layout and options will differ from one country to another. The framework works for reports generated based on BI Publisher. This completes our discussion of the Global Payroll Fluid Self-Service Reporting feature. The Global Payroll Rules for India have been enhanced to consider future date termination while calculating the projected taxable earnings for the financial year. This ensures that no excessive tax is deducted for an employee in case of future date termination while projected earnings are restricted based on the last date of employment instead of the end of the financial year. The Element Browser Compare functionality can be used to get a good understanding of the new and modified payroll elements. This completes our discussion of the Enhanced Income Projection for India feature. The CFDI feature in Global Payroll Mexico is enhanced to support the legal changes announced by the Mexican government. The enhancement includes the updates on version, folio, voucher type, payment method, CFDI use, payment type, description, earnings, and deduction. CFDI version 3.3 will be supported as of January 1, 2018. 
This completes our discussion of the new Legal Changes CFDI version 3.3 feature. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.